All right, so here we go, day 10. I'm now 10 days into this 365 day challenge and uh, I've been thinking about it. Um, pretty sure practically what I'm doing right now is a vlog. So today I thought it would be kind of cool to talk about what I use for vlogging and what I think a great vlogging setup would be. In my opinion, the best vlogging setup or camera setup in general you can get for the money. So I'll start out with the camera. Um, I own a Sony A6300, along with the GH4, which is filming right now. And uh, I also apologize for the poor audio quality. I have the mic over here because I need to obviously show it in this video. The A6300 is what I use for vlogging. Super, super compact, shoots in 4K, shoots S-Log3, which is uh, an incredibly flat profile, which makes it super, super good for color correction. Really, really easy to work with. But the main part of what makes this camera so great is how compact it is. You know, hold it right in front of you, super lightweight. Honestly, if you put like a 20 millimeter pancake on this, you could throw it right in your pocket. Uh, along with that, it's super discreet, so if you have it out in public, it's not like you're carrying around like a massive DSLR or something like that. So you can bring it in like pretty much anywhere. People aren't going to give you weird looks for it. Definitely would recommend the A6300 for a vlogging camera. My friend Adam has a RX100 Mark IV, and that is an even more compact camera for even a little bit less money. That camera also shoots 4K. It does have a fixed lens, which could be considered a disadvantage, but the screen flips all the way backwards, so you can actually see yourself while you're filming. And that is probably one of the most incredible little cameras I've ever seen. It shoots 960 frames per second in 1080p. Like, the footage is mind-blowing. So if you're not going to use the camera for anything else but vlogging, which I do use my camera for other things, um, I would definitely probably recommend the RX100 Mark IV, but overall I think the A6300 is a much more versatile camera. Alright, so next I will talk about what I use for audio. I use a Rode VideoMic Pro. I've been very, very happy with the audio quality. It's a directional mic, so wherever it's pointed, it picks up really, really concentrated sound, um, kind of blocks out a lot of background noise. Really, really happy with this mic, works great. Uh, if you're looking to save a little bit of money though, you can go with the Rode VideoMic Go, which I think saves you about $100. It's also a directional mic, and it is a lot better than the onboard mic that you'll find in uh, Sony A6300. All right, so uh, finally, we have the GorillaPod which I mount the A6300 uh, and the video mic pro on. And uh, this thing is incredible. This is the most versatile tripod I've ever seen. It's just mind blowing what you can do with this thing. Uh, you're, you're on a hike, you can throw it in a tree, grab a quick time lapse. This thing takes a beating and you don't have to worry about it breaking any time. The other advantage is you can bend it in whatever way you want. So if you're pointing the camera at yourself, you can have it in like a nice C shape. Works super good, super lightweight for just holding out in front of you. So yeah, that's my uh, vlogging setup of choice. I would definitely take a look at this stuff. Um, I really don't think that there is anything else on the market at this time that would be better for vlogging than this. Again, if you're looking to save some money, you can pick up the RX100 Mark IV and the video might go. But I'm really, really happy with the A6300 just because of the versatility it offers. The camera performs a lot better in low light since it's an APS-C sensor rather than a one-inch sensor that the Mark IV has. But either camera you use, you're gonna be extremely happy with. And really, vlogging isn't about the quality, I think. I feel like getting your ideas out there is uh, really what vlogging is about. You can really just do that with an iPhone. I don't think that expensive camera equipment is necessary. I really think that you can be just as successful on YouTube with um, I mean, your standard point-and-shoot camera or your phone. I really think it's more about what you have to say rather than the quality of the video. Not that I'm really an authority on this. I mean, I only have like 30 subscribers on YouTube right now, and I'm really just doing this for fun and to keep myself busy over the summer. But, uh, I mean, that's what I've heard from other people. Like, there's massive vloggers out there like Rome Natwood just films on their standard point and shoot camera. He's not too concerned about the quality of the video. He's more about getting a message out there. And I really think that's what vlogging is about.